With college basketball over two months away from starting, it's never too early to discuss who could possibly be the player of the year next season. There are a solid number of candidates that could end up winning this award from seniors to freshmen. The player of the year usually comes from a top 10 team in the nation, so in order to be in the discussion, you have to be the best player on the winning team. In this video, I will give my top five candidates for the College Basketball Player of the Year Award for the 2017-18 season. At the fifth spot, I have Missouri freshman forward Michael Porter Jr. After Lorenzo Romar was fired earlier this year, Michael Porter Jr. decommitted from Washington in favor of the Missouri Tigers. Missouri went 8-23 last season, but with a strong recruiting class, including Michael Porter Jr.'s brother, John Tay, and the return of the team's top three scores from last season, Missouri has the potential to be a dangerous team next year. It's important to note, the best recruit in the country doesn't guarantee success for that team. Examples being the last two number one overall picks. But unlike those teams, Missouri has a ton of talent on this team, and with the hiring of Conzo Martin, Missouri has the potential to go from an eight-win team last season to a tournament team next March. Michael Porter is the guy that can lead this team to places they haven't been in a long time. Porter is a 6'10", 215-pound combo forward who is probably the best pure scoring prospect since Kevin Durant. Porter can score in many different ways and has the size and mobility to get his shot off at will. He has the basketball IQ and court awareness to not force shots most of the time and make the right basketball play. I believe there is no doubt that Porter will put up numbers in the points and rebound categories, but can Missouri put up enough wins for him to have a chance at winning this award? At number four, Miami Hurricanes sophomore combo guard Bruce Brown. There were a few players last year that were better in transition than Brown. He was one of the best guards and freshmen in the ACC last season. Brown flashed some serious skills and playmaking out of the pick and roll. He is explosive in space and can play above the rim. Brown is a very physical and aggressive guard and it's tough to stop when he gains momentum going to the rack. He is just as dangerous as a passer as he is a scorer. Brown could look to distribute and get his teammates involved or he could just load up, get to the rim and finish in traffic. Brown scored 1.18 points per possession last season when he was the ball handler in transition which ranked number four in the ACC last year just behind Dennis Smith Jr. Not only can Brown run a mean pick and roll and power a fast break, he is a legit two-way player, one of the best in the ACC. Brown has elite size for the point guard position and he knows how to put his 6'5 frame to work on defense. He reportedly has a 6'9 wingspan and is active when it comes to contesting shots. Miami was a hell of a defensive team last season and they were led by Brown. The team will also be adding a top recruit in guard Lonnie Walker, which will make the Hurricanes even more dangerous and will help Brown's case for the top college basketball award. At number three, I have controversial Duke senior guard, Grayson Allen. It seems like Allen has been in college basketball for like 10 years. Last year was an interesting year for Grayson for the wrong reason. He was known for being a dirty player by his sophomore year, but he took it to a whole nother level last season. Coach K tried his best to rein him in and settle him down. Despite all his issues, he is still a very talented player who has three years of experience and has won a national championship. Ever since his sophomore season, Grayson has had the green light to score and create offense for the Duke Blue Devils, and this season will be no different. Unlike last year, Grayson should be able to play off the ball exclusively because of incoming freshman point guard Trayvon Duvall. Duke's problem last year was they didn't have a good enough passing point guard. This will increase Grayson's opportunities on offense to put up big numbers like he did in his sophomore year. Like every year, Duke will be bringing in several top recruits, including Wendell Carter, Duvall, Gary Trent Jr., and newly signed and projected number one pick, Marvin Bagley. Grayson is used to playing with NBA talent. That will not stop him from being aggressive and looking for a shot. I expect Grayson to bounce back in his senior year and be the leader Coach K needs him to be. At number two, Michigan State sophomore forward Miles Bridges. Bridges surprised a lot of people by passing this past draft to return for his sophomore season. He is an athletic freak and has one of the best motors in college basketball. He is just relentless around the paint 
and continuously improved throughout his freshman season. Going into last season, Bridges wasn't known for his outside shooting, but he proved to a lot of scouts that he's more than capable of knocking down a three ball. He averaged around 17 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1.5 and blocks per game. That's a rare stat line for a college basketball player at any age or experience. Bridges' return is a game changer because of the talent that's on the Spartans team. You're adding a five-star recruit in Jaron Jackson Jr. who should slide in perfectly alongside Bridges and big man Nick Ward. This could possibly be one of Coach Tom Izzo's most talented teams. Miles Bridges solidifies Michigan State as a legit national championship contender. And my pick for national player of the year is Kansas senior guard Devontae Graham. Last season, Graham and Mason developed into one of, if not the best backcourts in the nation. And with Mason now in the NBA, Graham can take over his role. Mason took all four years to finally become a great college basketball player. And I would expect the same for Graham. Both players came from situations in which they decommitted from their respective small schools and went on to become starters for one of the all-time legendary programs in college basketball. Graham has showed the ability to take over games before if he really needed to. He has a sweet stroke from three. He's quick, athletic, smart, and has a great motor. All the traits you need from a leader. Graham's most important contribution as a senior may not come only on offense, but also as a mentor for Mississippi State transfer Malik Newman. Newman joins Devontae in the backcourt to try to replicate the magic that last year's backcourt had. Also joining them is big time incoming freshman forward Billy Preston. Makai Uke and Vic are two of the major contributors from last year's team that stayed one more year. The stage is definitely set for Devontae Graham to take over the reins and lead the Jayhawks in the 2017-18 season. The ball is in Graham's court and he and the Jayhawks have a chance to go deeper in the tournament than last year's team did.